Hello Autodesk people and welcome to another session on tips and tricks for Fabrication Canon VP 2017. This one is in conjunction with Autodesk Point Layout. There's been uh, kind of a, a few questions that have popped up recently. One of them I wanted to address in this video. Uh, the question I had in a seminar that I did <clears throat> in October in Kansas City was, how do you have Fabrication Cat MEP pipes and automate the placement of the uh, of the point? So I got a hold of Shane uh, Hamill, the developer who actually programs Autodesk Point Layout and kind of makes all the functionality and gave me some pretty cool tips. And I wanted to share them with everybody else. So the first the first way is um, obviously I've got some Fabrication Cat MEP piping in here. As you can see, it's a uh, these are different ITMs. Now that's a pipe. We've got some fittings in here as well. But what we want to do is we want to um, add some uh, <clears throat> some points, some automated points to the ends of the pipes. And here's how that works. Now in the point layout, Autodesk point layout ribbon, you'll just grab the automated tool here. And I've already got it set up here, but by default you may have to change some of the categories here. Just make sure it's on the pipe category, and then click on pipe endpoints. And um, if you want to, you can select all of them, or you can just select some of them. If you select some, it'll give you the ability to uh, manually pick which ones in particular you're, you're wanting. So here, I'll just I'll just pick the pipes here, and it's asking, do you want to include the size in the point description? Why, well, yes, thank you so much, Autodesk Point Layout. And then it tells you that the point placement has been completed. Now, one note that he uh, that Shane Hamill, the uh, the the developer did mention to me was that the pipes, excuse me, the points themselves have been automated, but they by default they go down to the bottom center of the pipe, and that was a uh, that was customer driven. He said he, he there was some use case that he was taught that he was uh, programmed that for specifically, so we have the ability to do that obviously. But um, if you wanted to get to the center of the pipe, so let's do this. Let me pick these two points right here and go to the object viewer. It'll be easier to see this way. So if I expand the object viewer, you'll see that the points are being placed at the bottom center of the pipe. Now, <clears throat> I asked him about that. So why is it why is it at that location? I mean, normally you would want it at the center of the pipe, right? So he said the other way to do that is just to make a selection and do the nodes. So that's the first method on how to do it. Um, you'll want to use automated points. Uh, and let's do this. Let's go ahead and erase these guys. The second method, if you wanted to get it dead on to the center of the pipe, let me show you how that would work. So you would do, instead of the automated, there's another tool here called selection. So here's the second method. You use selection. You just make sure it's on the right um, category here. And I typed pipe capital E for the prefix, but you can do something very descriptive like pipe end. Now if I was on the third floor, I start. I typically start off my numbers with the 10,000 category here. So if I'm on the third floor, it's 30,000 points here. The description is going to be pipe end points, and um, the point roll is going to be uh, stakeout. And the layer here, this just talks about which AutoCAD layer this will fall into. So I'll leave it as it is, but you can name it whatever you want. So once you do that, it's asking you at the bottom prompt there, it's asking you to select objects to add points onto. So I'll just click the pipes and I'll avoid the fittings. So I'm not I'm not choosing the fittings, I'm just clicking on the pipes themselves. And then it asks, what what would you like to mark on the selected pipes? And in this case, you want to click on node. And then you want to tell the, the, the question here, you want to answer, would you like to mark only top? or bottom points on the selected objects and just hit all here. And so what that will do and the difference here between what you saw earlier and what you're seeing now is if I click on this point here and that particular pipe and we go to the object viewer you'll notice that <clears throat> that this secondary method that we just did does in fact raise that point to the center point which is why we were using the node snap to begin with. So I hope you find that helpful, and I hope that uh, kind of teaches you how we can go about doing, you know, the different selection types uh, for these for these objects and, and placing points on them. Stay tuned for another session of tips and tricks with Fabrication Academy P.